Okay. I think we're ready now. Let's fight this dude. I am curious about what kind of... What kind of boss we're gonna get? Multi-stage boss? Is he gonna have like 16 oh, transformations? Oh, I see you in person rather than through a screen, Captain Kenny. Mm-hmm. Don't get ahead of yourself, General. Little girl, have you no intention of returning to my side? And you, well... You <laughs> What's with Fidel's face? I want to be with Fidel and Miki, not you. <laughs> Who'd ever take the side of a man who uses children as tools? Yeah. People's lives aren't toys for you to play with. Who are you to play God and all that shit? The time for talk has ended. Uh-huh. Peria, bestow your power upon me. Bring it on, Chief. Peria. Peria. Vice Director! Y yes, sir. You know, we could be... Maybe trying to stop this. I guess we're just gonna stand there, though. I have no sister. Your orders, General. Hmm. Faria. Well, guess we gotta kill her. All right. Lend me your power, minion. Minion. Could Sky be any more like generic evil guy? <laughs> oh, he's got a uh, shield. A shield in McShield. All right. Of my creed. Nice. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Huh. Cast some explosions. Yeah, he's just immune. I gotta wait for Relia to get her act together and break his shield or whatever. Yeah. He's surrounded by a force field that's connected to another dimension via space time symbology. Mm -hmm. Effectively makes him immune to any type of attack we could throw at him. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. The answer to that is, how should I know? <laughs> What's the matter? I thought you were supposed to show me the error of my ways. Thanks to you, we were able to solve one of the space time symbology's many mysteries. Uh-huh. Look at this. I just gotta wait for really to take care of business. For example, your subject secreted the necessary hormones when experiencing strong emotions. Secreted the hormones? Are you talking about Fidel? We can easily replicate the process. This can be accomplished with mind control or by injecting the necessary hormones directly into your system. Take a good long look. This is the face of the man who tames space time symbolically. Uh huh. This guy's just gonna keep on muckalogging. Muckalogging. That shit. You please, like, really a. Really a please. Please, girl. There we go. Ugh, <laughs> uh, what a stupid game mechanic. Get up. Get up, Relia. You're just gonna leave your sister like this? I'll catch you no matter how many times you fall. Just. Just believe in me and get up. Take control of your own future with Varia. Well, there's explosion. <laughs> huh. Yeah, the battle is just like actually continuing. Those are. Hmm. I guess the skills being used are just random in this scene. Because, like, some of those. You could have not even had those skills, right? So, hmm. Time to throw everything we've got at him. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Color me shocked. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I had to wait for Relia to get her act together. Oh my god, didn't see that coming. Oh, this fucking douche. Yep. Get out of here. Skill level. Oh, I got a skill level. Nice. It does even more. More damage. More big demo. Flanky team. Kind of poopy in this game. Very, very sad that that's the case. I wish you were better. Or whatever. How does Victor swing his sword like that, huh? How does he make it spin like that? Is he a robot? A robot? Is he like wrist on a pivot? Like, seriously, how does he do that? That's so impossible. 
Of all the impossible things happening in this game, that's definitely the worst. That's definitely the most impossible. I mean, all this magic and shit, that's totally believable. These two people fusing well, together this will not be a dull inside of each other's body, that, that totally, totally believable. Very well. it is time. This guy's fucking... Behold the results of our symbological research. Totally believable. Now what's he doing? He's grunting. Not the grunting. Is he gonna restore his shield and have to wait for it to break it again? Please don't. Oh no, he went to Ultron. What the fuck? He took his shirt off. Where's his cape? Bosom blow? What? <laughs> he has a move called Bosom Blow. We can still damage him though. You're fucked, buddy. You're fucked. Don't use arcane weapon. I wish I'd never taught her that skill so she wouldn't be spamming it so much in the combat. It's so worthless. I mean, it's not completely worthless, but it's really fucking terrible. And she uses it so much when she could be casting spells to do damage. I wonder if I could, like, do something with rolls to negate that or something. Hmm. Tear asunder. Probably get her out of here. Yeet. Do that. Why is Fiore standing like a point blank range? Why are you being dumb, AI? You're supposed to be smart. I even gave you like the master tactician things. So you're supposed to have enhanced judgment or something. Hmm. Abyssal gate. Nice teleporting McTeleports. Teleporting McTeleport face. Hmm. Damn, look at this damage. Probably just use this guy. He seems like he does really good damage. And it tracks very well. Hmm. He hit me, but I don't give a shit. How much HP I have? A lot. That is one thing that I really love about the Star Ocean franchise. Getting some lag, hmm. The game's kind of stuttering because there's so much shit on screen, I guess. Ugh. Game can't handle it. Well, yeah. One thing that I love about this game is that but the stats are so crazy high. And they can only get even crazier and higher. I'm sure I could get everybody up to like 50 grand or so. And fade to black. Alright. I guess this is a two-stage boss fight so far. Is there a third? Is there? Vice <laughs> Director! Please, sir, if we go any further, we'll obliterate the subject's gestalt. Do it! My beard isn't red enough. How dare you! Get out of my way, you worthless <laughs> what? cretin! This guy even know what he's doing? He pressed a button. He's gonna kill Ferio. You know, we could have, like, ran over... We had plenty of time to go over and, like, punch him in the face no, to prevent him from pressing that button. He was where we are, and he walked over there, and none of us stopped him. Makes total sense. Oh. Oh. This is some Kingdom Hearts type shit. Why did I not do this in the first place? Because you're Such dumb. Consummate power coursing through my veins. How invigorating! Yeah, who wouldn't want to live like this for the rest of their life? It With looks so enjoyable. Threats. This guy doesn't even have a penis. Congratulations, you got rid of your penis. You obtained, you've obtained ultimate power, but you no longer have a penis. That's a would you rather if I ever heard one. Hmm. God damn it! I gotta wait for Relia to do this shit again. You know, this wouldn't be so bad if I had control over Relia and I could make her do it. But no, I gotta fucking wait for her. God damn it, Relia! You shit! God damn it! All right, well, uh, she's silenced. How do I get rid of silence? It's, uh, just cures all ailments. 
Give us talents. There we go. Just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. There we go. That's a nice big blue beam. That was a lot of damage. Uh, would that have killed like everybody? What? <laughs> what? Really? Do you want your sister to be like that forever? I know. You can do it. You still have an objective to complete. Now we gotta cycle through everybody in this moment of dramatic climax or whatever. No? Just those two? What? <laughs> I guess I misread that, hmm. Open your eyes, Theria, please. Don't be such a dick. No. Oh. Aurelia, I beg of you. Please. Please kill me. Aww. Don't run away. Fight. Fight against his control. Break free of it. Silence, whelp! I believe in you, Relia. I always have. And I know don't, you can rise up with Feria if you mean truly Feria? want to. He's talking to Relia now? We can beat this man if we fight together, Feria. I believe in you, sis. Hmm. Are they gonna I fusion, huh? Fusion, ha? Huh? Fusion, ha! Huh? Fusion, huh, and then transform into a teenager. Do it. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, he's getting fucked up. Only a bastard. That, you are my real enemy all along. <laughs> that and your executioner. Uh huh. Well, he's in this guy. Now we can do some damage. Look at that health drain. It's going down real slow, but it's going down. Hmm. Yep. Nice, nice little bit of lag here, but whatever. There's just too much shit on screen. I wonder if the super bosses are this way too. Yeah. Yeah. This is just aerial assault. This was called aerial assault in the uh, in Star Wars 3, but it's called Shockwave in this one. Which is weird because there was another move called Shockwave in Star Wars 3, which was completely different. But, uh, you know, I'm not confused at all. Whatever. You need to use Void, madam. Not that. Use Void. Use it. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of his buffs. Why are you way over here? Get up close and do your damage. Do your big damage. Well, that did a lot of damage. And she's silenced. I don't know how she got silenced, but uh, the game, you know, whatever. I gotta pay attention to that shit. How long has she been silenced for? <laughs> Ow. And I'm dead. Great. Uh, okay, so she revived somebody, I think. Who did she revive? She revived... Oh, that was, uh... That was what's-her-face for yours. I guess I'll revive you. Wake up! And, uh... Resurrection again. No big deal. I got this under control. What's this guy's name? Transmogrified Alma. And, uh, oh. Emerson was silenced, but I guess he's not anymore. Hmm. Well, whatever. Use Fairy Star. And then, hook. This guy's gonna do, like, a big AoE that's gonna kill, like, everybody. There we go. Hook. I missed. There we go. And she's silenced again. How is she silenced so... <laughs> I, I don't even see the move that's silencing her. It's like, there's just too much crap. I can't follow it all. It's too crazy. And, uh, do a fairy star. Hmm. Yeah. You need to use sacred pain again. And you also need to keep your damn distance. You jerk. Uh, huh. Sacred pain. 
glad that actually works. There's so many games where you have all these like debuffs that never fucking work on bosses. <laughs> and it's really annoying. It's like, what's the point of debuffs in every fucking boss? Every fight that you would actually want to use them in, the enemies are just immune. So like, what's the point? Not very good balance. I tried to dodge. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Abyssal Gate. I guess I could, like, run away from that. Probably could. But why? Just tank the damage. Just tank it. There we go. So I never found Fidel's Cathedral of Oblivion, I guess. I have to go back to the, uh... Whatever that place is in order to find it. Hmm. I hope the game lets me do that after I beat the game and not just... Doesn't make me replay this whole goddamn sequence over again. <laughs> that would be really annoying. I avoided it. Amazing. Air raid. Hmm. Cyclone blade. Air raid. Huh. Have some explosion. Have two explosions. Have three explosions. Have four explosions. And then, uh, get this going. And then, uh, whoop. This guy's way over here. Does that actually go that far? It does, wow. This is an amazing ability. An amazing ability. Yeah, he's dead. He's done. He's done, son. Hmm. Alma Annihilator. Trophy achievement! Incredible. Get fucked, buddy. We did win, didn't we? Yes. That we did. His strength is dwindling. His wave patterns are getting astonishingly small. Luna! Chris! Kronos is destined to crumble! Should I perish here? <laughs> Braun alone can't win all wars. Likewise, my ashes the Salons. I'll be observing your lot from on high. Repudiation to you. An honor to Kronos. Hmm. I was really obsessed with Kronos, and we never even went there. <laughs> we never got to see what it was like. But alright, at least she's alive for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, fuck it. Fidel. Thanks a lot. No prob. It didn't back down at all. I did all I could. Me and Lilia. Yeah. You prevailed. Promise you will. Look after my baby sister. I certainly what? do. Relia deserves a good life. A caring, maybe mentoring dad. Like the real was when I was young. Relia, I'm so sorry. What's more, I should thank you. My wish was answered due to your... Grow up and be... The joyous girl I couldn't... Faria, no! Don't be so sad. Since I'll be... With you in your heart. Man, I hope I die like this. Just glow to death. And then merge into someone else's body. That'd be pretty fucking rad. Yeah, you just said that. 
I heard you the first time. I mean, uh, I'm sorry you're gone. I mean, I only met her like once. I mean, <laughs> log. Space sorry, that's pretty callous of me, I suppose. 537. Our mission in the Fake Creed system has concluded. With the death of its leader, General Alma, the rebellion collapsed in upon itself. As the coup d'etat ended in abject failure, the Kronos government was able to regain its authority. Days later, President Mutal declared that Kronos would join the Pan-Galactic Federation, thus swelling our ranks and leaving one fewer enemy. I have a feeling, however, that there will be repercussions from this incident that last for quite some time. In my opinion, it is now abundantly clear that the Federation is at a major crossroads. It is only a matter of time, I assume, before we must re-evaluate the form we wish the Federation to henceforth take. Kronos was officially inducted into the Pan-Galactic Federation. And while the Kronos incident that engendered the Alliance was certainly noteworthy, it was not the only seminal event of Space Day 537. The year also became known for various progressive reforms, which would serve as defining points of Federation policy for years to come. Is she upset? Like, why isn't she clapping? Is she trying to make a statement? I mean, she looks real nice in that uniform, but... Fae Creed's fate regarding the Federation was officially decided today. Because the planet is not sufficiently civilized, it will not be recognized as a legitimate member of the Federation. As we influence the planet to a great extent, though, it was designated a protectorate. I plan to ask Command to appoint Victor the Inspector General of Fae Creed. I cannot imagine there is anyone else in the galaxy better suited to the job than him. Now that I mention one fake creed, I should probably record what happened to the rest. Everyone involved in the incident immigrated to Earth. What? After all they'd experienced of the outside world, we couldn't simply let them return to an underdeveloped planet. Besides, they unanimously decided to come of their own accord, which is what I was hoping for anyway. They all just fucked off to Earth? What? Did, don't they have, like, people that care about them on fake creed? Miki is what? currently studying her heart out to become a science officer. According to Anne, she's got a real knack for this sort of thing. Already understanding the basics of symbology doesn't hurt either. If there's anything that holds her back, though, it's reading and writing. You can't be too hard on her, as she didn't grow up with the Terran syllabary. But she still has a long road ahead of her. Okay. Victor was able Don't they have, like, universal translators for this poetry. shit? And based upon his they make her do it the hard way anyway. He was appointed as an instructor. Considering he's a citizen of an underdeveloped planet, this is a historic accomplishment for him. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'd like to see Command put him in charge of overseeing his home planet, but the decision ultimately rests with him. Thanks in part to an endorsement from Dr. Crew, Fiore was accepted as a researcher in the newly built Symbological Genetics Laboratory on Moonbase. I say accepted, but the whole facility was basically established for her sake. Her knowledge surpasses even our own scientists in some areas, so I assume they're more than happy to take advantage of her genius. There's no way they won't make at least a few breakthroughs with her working on their team. All is quiet on the Anne front as she continues to work as a science officer aboard the Charles D. Gold. Her looks are what sealed the deal for me when hiring her. <laughs> I'll be damned if she isn't one capable science officer. Once I'm finally given my new assignment, I won't hesitate to bring her along. Uh-huh. That's me, how you hire people, myriad, based on their looks. Remember that, kids. The Kronos Rebellion when you're an employer. Promotion. Nothing's official yet. Only hire but pretty people. around the water cooler is that I'll become an admiral. To think, me, with my own fleet. Hmm. What's more, the also, ship my hair is bluer than ever. Ordinary one. It'll supposedly be equipped with some rather snazzy technology, of an experimental and gravitic warp kind. I guess this goes to show, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few rules. That's not okay. Whatever. What about Fidel? And eh, nothing happened. To him. Gameplay recording paused because you entered a blocked scene. What? 
Was it actually paused? Why would he be paused there? It wasn't paused like through any of the game. So what the fuck? Huh. I'm pretty sure I'm still recording, so I mean... I don't know, I'm not an expert on PS4 recording. Did he not show us what happened to Fidel? What? Did he, maybe he did tell us and I just wasn't paying attention. I swear he didn't tell us though, what? Are they gonna fucking make me wait to the end of the credits to tell us? Have a be all... Whatever? Well, there's probably like multiple endings about what happens to Fidel based on your... character's affections with one another or something. Huh, maybe my affections weren't high enough for anybody, so they all just left him. <laughs> He's alone. He died in some ditch. Way to go, player, you fucked up. Like, what did I, I did like 80% of the quests in this fucking game. Got all the best weapons except for Fidel's. Because I couldn't find the stupid entrance to the Cathedral of Oblivion in the final dungeon area, but... Ugh, well, whatever. Fidel's now oh. diligently studying to become an officer in the Federation's military. Truth achievement. Truth be told, we'd already accept him as a foot soldier, but he says he won't settle for anything less than being a crewman on a battleship. Now, I'm not one to balk at lending my friends a hand, but this is a battle he needs to fight on his own. Prove that I was right to believe in you and get your butt up here, Fidel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Your snack's ready. Excellent. Either when this is done. You'll burn out studying like that. Miki, you barely try at all. I bet you'll never transcend Emerson or Anne like that. <sighs> what about just being your wife? Oh. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing important. I said we should both try our hardest. Yeah, let's. Great. Finished. I'll take that snack now. Wasn't she studying to be a an officer or whatever? <laughs> now she's like, eh, I just want to be your wife. He's like, what? She's like, huh? I didn't say anything. Wow. Finn, huh? Alright then. They really did make me wait till the end of the credits. To fucking... Alright. <laughs> So I guess you can get like different ones depending on who you raise your affection with. Hmm. To continue your adventure in the ethereal sphere, load the dead you saved after arriving at the deepest recess of Chrono's sickle, return to the entrance of that par parallel dimension, and transport to the Charles D. Golgi. Hmm. Uh. Wait. So did that give me like save data or whatever? Or... <laughs> Wait, what? Huh. Uh, oh yeah, it did give me, I think. Has two little stars. I guess it saved while it was showing all these credits or whatever. Let me see. Hmm. I also want to watch the uh, opening, not really the opening, but like the pre-opening, pre-game cinematic. Because I don't think we ever watched that. But, uh, uh, I guess? Huh. So then we do what now? I can't teleport back. The final battle is right there, so I gotta run my ass all the way back through this dungeon. In order to get back to fake read. Well, alright. Uh, okay. Let's see. Can I, like, quit back out of the game? <laughs> huh. Options menu, sort by. Well, I guess I'll just do it the hard way then. Close application. Reload. And then we'll watch the cinematic. And then that'll be the end of the playthrough, because I want to show the cinematic. Because I never did. And I never even watched it, 
So I and there's only like two other spacey cinematics in the game, so I figured I should show this one, right? It's fucking Jesus. Fuck a Jesus. But uh, yeah, I guess I should give my thoughts on the game. I kind of did already in a, one of the previous episodes, but it's a really good game. I enjoyed it. Definitely has its uh, faults. Not not quite a perfect game. <laughs> I never expected it to be a perfect game, though. I kind of knew what I was getting into. I wouldn't say it's really worth 60 bucks. If you find it on sale, it's definitely good, a good deal. But, uh... Also, if you don't really like JRPGs, and why the fuck are you watching this video, but, uh... If you do like JRPGs, then, yeah, you'll probably enjoy this game. Look at this cinematic, it looks awesome. Why wasn't this in the main game? <laughs> why didn't they put this in the game? Why did I have to wait at the beginning of the... <laughs> Whatever. Gravitic warp, I guess. Or is that just normal warp? I don't know. Hmm. Looks real shiny. You know, that logo kind of looked a lot cooler a second ago, and then they... <laughs> then they made it all flat and... Uh, it kind of looked cooler when it was all embossed or whatever, but... Anyway, I guess that'll about do it for this playthrough. Or, actually, no, it won't. There's more to come, but that'll do it for the main storyline. I'm gonna do the, uh, post-game. I think there are two super bosses that I have to kill. Gabriel Celestia and... Maybe Lilith? I don't remember. I saw someone mention them online, I uh, Anyway, we'll be doing that, but uh, for now, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the videos so far, all of that stuff, like, subscribes, comments, all this YouTube bullshit, if you want, thank you for watching, ah!